Having clean code, kind of important for a tutorial like this. In this tutorial step, we're going to install Prettier as a code formatting tool. We're gonna to use it to give us an easier starting point by removing some of the markup that Create React App gave us out of the box. And finally, we're going to see ways that the IDE can help us keep the code clean. ESLint is great at linting, especially after they join forces with TSLint and Create React App supports ESLint out of the box. We wanna take a look at code formatting and the most popular widely used tool is Prettier. Create React App does not ship with support of that out of the box. Let's add it and then get integration into the IDE. I'm gonna use this from the command line and I'm going to npm install as a development dependency Prettier. It's gonna go off and download the internet like we always do on npm packages. So I'll see you on the other side. With Prettier installed into this project, I'll close the terminal window. Now we'll go wire it up in the IDE preferences. And so it wants to find a path to the package. And this is where we installed it at. I have two choices for the integration into the IDE. I can have Prettier be used whenever I invoke the code reformat action. My fingers are wired to do this a thousand times a day, so I will choose that. Alternatively, we could say only do it when I save my code in case you feel like Prettier is running too much. Okay, I'll go ahead and use this. And now watch when I reformat my code, it's gonna use Prettier instead of the built-in IDE formatting. And my single quotes are going to turn to double quotes. That's pretty cool. Next, uh, we have an app component. It's doing a lot right now for the rest of the tutorial. We're not gonna need quite this much. And all I want really now is a div with an H1 that says, hello, React. I could write out div H1. See, I'm already making mistakes on that. Uh, the IDEs have support for a system called Emmet, which is a lightweight way to generate trees of markup. And when I hit tab, it does that, put my, puts my cursor here, and I can say, hello, React. Uh, very useful, especially when generating deeply nested things. We see that the ID is helping me a little bit on line two. I have an unused import with a little soft warning on it saying I've got an unused import. I could stop what I'm doing, move up to the top, go and find all the things that are wrong with my imports, correct them manually, go back to where I was. <gasps> By then I've forgotten everything. Or I could do the other thing I do a thousand times a day, which is optimize imports, which deleted that import for me. Very helpful, it also sorts your imports, combines things based on your preferences. While we're at it, we're gonna do a couple of other cleanups. I don't really need CSS in this tutorial, so I will delete this line, which means this file is no longer needed and the SVG file is no longer needed. When I do a delete in the IDE, it's doing a quote unquote safe delete where it's going to offer to look for any places where I might have forgotten that I was using it. So I'll say, thank you IDE, go ahead and do that safe delete for me. I'm not using it anywhere else. So those were not a pro that deletion wasn't a problem. But imagine that this index.css, it looks like I'm not using it, but it's actually used in here. What if I accidentally decided to delete it and let the IDE help me, and the IDE says, oh, wait, 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 wait. You might not want to delete this because it's still being used. Oh, you're right, it is still being used. I don't want to delete it. Thanks a lot for that. One last thing that the IDE can do to help us on this for cleanups, um, actually a couple of things. Uh, let's say I'm over in index.tsx, well, no, actually I'll do it here, and I've got my component, but I've forgotten to import React. And without React, I can't do this whole JSX, TSX thing. The ID is giving me a squiggly telling me that I've forgotten to do that. Not only will it red squiggly me and tell me that I've forgotten to do it, it will do the janitorial work to generate an import for me, thus fixing that red squiggly problem. And then one last thing uh, that's really helpful. Let's say I, I decide app, kind of boring. I want to call it my app. Okay, so I'll call it my app. Oh, wait, I have to change it here, too. Oh, wait, where else am I using it? I think I'm using it in index.tsx and maybe a test and who knows where else? Oh, screw it, I'm not gonna do it. I'll just put it back the way it was. Well, 
IDEs are really good at janitorial work. Can the IDE do this janitorial work for us? Why, yes, it can. Refactor, rename, and it will go and find all the places it's being used and do the correction for us. So I will say my app, when I hit enter, it's gonna do an extra helpful thing for me. It's gonna say, hey, React projects, when you have a default exported component, maybe you wanna change the name of the file to match the name of the component. Why, yes, I do want you to do that. And along the way, you'll fix the Git check-in for me. That's a nice thing. If I go to see a usage of this in index.tsx, it's done the file name correction, it's done the import correction, it's done the usage correction. Same thing in app.test.tsx, it's done those as well. But then maybe I decide, wait, that wasn't a good idea. I'm gonna name it something else later. I haven't decided, can you put it back the way it was before I went on this wild goose chase? Undo will treat all of those steps, the renaming of the symbol, the renaming of the export, the renaming of the import, the renaming of the import file name, the get stuff, the blah, 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 blah. All of those things will be undone as one editor transaction. The file name goes back to the way it was. The import, the import symbols, all back the way it was. Thank you, IDE.